What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here bringing another Marvel Strike Force video today. Today we're going to be doing Doom Campaign nodes 1-3 and 1-4. I'm going to go over my Guardians team, show you where they're at to tackle 1-4. But also, keep on the lookout, I'm going to be doing my top 5 Adam Sandler ranking video voted on by members of my Discord, so be on the lookout for that. I'll be posting that shortly in a few days, so let's get down to that footage of the nodes. Roll it! So up behind me is my Guardians team that I chose to go with. I went with the Rocket, Star-Lord, Drax, Groot, and Mantis. That's my main crew that I ran with for that 1-4 node. It's not that difficult a node at all. The T-4s, I don't have any on Rocket like whatsoever. Like I think I only have T-4-2 on this entire team at all. I think I have Star-Lord's improvisation to pass on that energy and everything that definitely helps out and then i have groot's passive i believe to apply the slow my drax is pretty beefy because he has a high red star count so that definitely helps but yeah i have the i am groot the passive t forward but no other t4s and i rolled with mantis as my fifth on this team because she applies or just has more sustain and just has better like with that healing. So it definitely helps out because some of the people on those Doom campaign nodes could definitely pack a punch for sure. So this is the team I went with, like I said, for 1-4. Not that difficult at all. Let's get on to the footage of those nodes. So this 1-3 node is definitely some heavy RNG for sure with the Inhumans, even having them pretty beefy. I even took my yo-yo up to gear 13 and it took me a couple tries to get this 3 starred for sure. But it's definitely one of those nodes that's going to take a lot of time for sure for you to try to 3 star or it did for me. But mainly I think the best thing, I tried to focus down the tanks in this particular video. But I think to be honest the best thing would probably be to take out X-23 and Deadpool first because they're going to apply some so much more offense and damage just overall throughout time for the team so you're going to want to get them out probably more but i was trying to focus down colossus because i really wanted him out of there because colossus just causes a lot of problems miss marvel's always tanking we got some good vulnerables around the field going on right now and then with that special i like that from quake we just removed the buffs i didn't get rid of the taunt that time which was kind of unfortunate but we got Miss Marvel out of there pretty quick. Mr. Sinister drops in after you kill your first character, so that's another problem for sure, because depending on who he clones, like I said, it's RNG factor, so it just depends on who he goes for in that time. <clears throat> but yeah, we started working down the teams. Like I said, look at X-23 putting all that damage into Quake. She literally almost killed. Now I'm trying to focus down. Let's see, we got to get that special off. See with hers I like to do her ultimate only when there's like slows around because then she'll get that crit guaranteed on whatever character has the slow. Try to get some offense down applied with Quake. Spread that around. Like I said it's just a very heavy RNG node because there's a lot of crappy characters on this node. Luckily Mr. Sinister only cloned Miss Marvel which isn't that bad. The ultimate from Black Bolt definitely saved us because it cleared out. But when we get this other people dropping in right here, you would think, oh, you're definitely easily going to be able to three-star this for sure. But then you got Blob and Toad coming in with another X-23. And I left the other one alive, so that was probably, like, a mistake, too. Because they have so much, like, chaining between them and Toad that they just hit everybody. So it doesn't really matter if Miss Marvel taunts. Try to get rid of those, those buffs. Just keep hitting that blob because we're stuck behind that taunt right now. <clears throat> and that's why I said it's also a great benefit to have that basic upgraded for Black Bolt because he's just going to erase those buffs. And then ISO bonus attack and he's going to erase another buff. Alright, we're getting pretty down and dirty but we're going to definitely lose a character it looks like for sure. Yep, Quake's going down. Like I said, those X-23s, they pack a punch. So definitely, I recommend trying to get rid of that first X-23 because you're going to have that second one drop in when Toad and Blob come in. So getting rid of that first one is probably key because with Toad and her on the field, they're just going to chain attack so much and attack every character. So if you have Miss Marvel, but you know, unless you're running Phoenix on this team, it might not be as big of a problem because you're going to have so much more AoE and everything and damage. But still made it through this node we're gonna survive and get the stars and get the win 
Look at that X-23 just surviving on all those dodges, man. She's, she's definitely a really great character, that's for sure. I need to beef up my X-Force. That's the next priority on the list. So now we're going to be hopping into 1-4. This requires Guardian Team. I showed you the Guardians that I have, and this snow's not that difficult at all, really. Like, just having that extra survivability from Mantis greatly helps, you know, just having Rocket survive, because he's your one that's going to die most often just because his health pool is so low. Definitely want to focus down that Doctor Strange first, because you don't want any revives happening. <clears throat> and then I like to get Ghost Rider out of there too as fast as possible because he could do a lot of damage. Ghost Rider can be quite annoying. And then eventually we'll work on the cap, but you know, he's, he's coming down to taunting on his next turn, so we'll, we'll worry about that pretty soon. Get some taunt action going with that Drax. Here comes Black Panther. Fortunately, we didn't get that energy pass to Rocket. I was hoping like sometimes that ultimate with Star Lord passing that energy, that ultimate will be ready right off the bat on that second turn for Rocket sometimes. Got that vulnerable on that Captain America, so that's good. I think we're just gonna attack him. Do some AoE action, see if we can get some major damage, even though there's a lot of defense up on the field, but getting that Black Panther out of there is key because he can get those slows off and he has a pretty nasty AOA too. Alright, focus down some America Chavez, then you got the rest of your enemies dropping in. Boom boom, here comes another Doctor Strange, so you're going to want to focus him down. He's the very last member that drops in. And this is all the people on the field right now. And like, like as you can see, there's very low health compared to the 1-3 node. There's a lot lower health compared to that. So as long as you have a pretty beefy Guardian team, and by this time, if you're a mid-game player and you're about to tackle Doom campaign, you pretty much should have these Guardians beefed up. And like I said, my recommendation is probably Mantis over Gamora, because Gamora, she's okay, but she does a lot better on a brawler team. She's just falling off a lot. And Mantis, like I said, applies that extra sustain and healing and everything. Plus, you could possibly get the stuns off her basic if she has a charge when she starts the battle. And there we go. Completely cleared out. Three-starred by these Guardians. And that's the video for today, guys. Thanks for enjoying it and everything. Hope you guys like it. Leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the content I put out. Have a good day. Peace out.